Hey there everyone, Paris Christu here from ToonboxStudio.com and uh, thanks for tuning in. This week I'm drawing Cherry role playing as the Harlequin from the upcoming movie Suicide Squad, which I've been waiting so badly to watch and I know you guys have been waiting for it too. It's gonna be epic. I mean, I've seen every single trailer, TV slot, teasers, anything I can find, interviews, because I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan and I know you guys are all huge fans too because of one reason, Will Smith, right? Yeah? The Fresh Prince? Huh? Yeah? Right? Huh? Yeah? No? Okay, I know what you guys think. Harlequin. Everyone's going Harlequin crazy. I mean, you, you go on Instagram now, and you just, you go through like all the feeds and everything. You can see Harlequin this, Harlequin. Everyone's going Harlequin crazy, right? I thought, why not jump in on the game as well? Now, before I get stuck into talking about this image, this whole pinup, last week, I was uh, with a buddy of mine one late afternoon having a few drinks and stuff, and we were surfing um, YouTube. We were, we were checking out some YouTube videos, some other YouTubers and stuff, and uh, he goes up to me and says to me, hey, Paris, he goes to me, I would like to challenge you, give you a little challenge for your next video. I go, what do you mean? Because I don't usually take on challenges at all because 99% of the challenges people give me are either ridiculous or stupid, right? So, don't want to waste my time. Uh, but he goes to me, Paris, on your next video, check this out. On your next video, Paris, I want you to create your whole artwork using just one tool. You're not allowed to use any other tools. You can't do all that fancy stuff, nothing. Just one tool. Really? I go to, okay, what tool? I go to him. He goes, I want you to use a texture pencil. Not your regular pencil, a texture pencil. Now in Sketchbook Pro, I mean, you got that palette on the, what do you call it, the tool palette on the left. Uh, but there's a huge, gigantic library of tools inside of it. And um, there's a section for texture pencils, which are really, really cool, really great. Now, little did he know is that I'm already familiar with the texture pencils. I mean, on my Instagram accounts, most of my artwork on there, the, the, on my posts that I post on my Instagram, are created with this one tool, which is actually a very nice tool. It, it gives this nice little... Um, scratchy little texture you know very close to like an original actual pencil you know so i like that i like that textury that roughness and everything and uh, even now as we're zoomed in you can see it you can see those little pixels the way that it flows into that scratchy little feel there it's nice i do advise you guys to give it a try you know try it out you don't have to always create like, like you know this clean and everything solid like lines and everything go for the little traditional style you know it's nice it's, it gives a nice little effect anyways so um I also asked him, okay, am I allowed to use an eraser at least? Yeah, he goes to me, sure, you can use erasers, but that's it. You can't use no other tool, just the texture pencil. All right, fine. What about style? I go to him. Style, any type of specific style, you can do whatever you want. But don't go for that fancy stuff. All right, cool. All right, now, so I have to take on his little challenge. I hope I did it just this. I hope he likes it. I think he will like it. I hope you guys like it too. Now, let's talk a little bit about this pose, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. I was with a few friends about a month ago, and we were playing Twister. You know Twister, the game, you know, with all the spots and everything, you've got to place your hands and your feet everywhere, right? And uh, we were a group of friends, and one of the girls got into this really, really cool, quirky pose. This pose is exactly the one that you're watching right now. And at, at that moment, I said to everyone, stop what you're doing and bring me my iPhone, right? <laughs> I go, honey, don't you dare move. I love that pose. I'm taking a snapshot. I'm going to use this for my next cherry pinup video. Man, it was such a cool, quirky, and sexy pose. I loved it. I was going to use it originally for an actual cherry pinup image instead of this uh, role playing uh, cosplay of the Harlequin and everything. But I thought, why not? I saved the original sketch, though, before I went into the details and everything. I saved the original sketch. I might use it further down the line once again for Cherry. We shall see. I loved it. But guys, write the, take, take notes, man. Twister. <laughs> right? Twister, you can come up with a million poses. I'm not joking, guys. I'm not joking. Seriously, the poses. Just get your friends around, right? And just take snapshots. You know what? You can even do life drawing classes using Twister. I might make a book on this one day. Learn anatomy via Twister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Actually, that's not a bad idea, man. I might do that. <laughs> I'm being serious. The amount of poses that you can come up with using just a game of Twister is unbelievable. Seriously, totally wicked. Right, anyways. Harlequin, right? <laughs> the Harlequin. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of the Harlequin, right? I mean, there's all these different designs of the Harlequin over the years, but 
whenever I hear Harley Quinn, I just automatically think of the design of the character from the Batman the Animated Series. And now all of you do. I mean, the Batman Animated Series was freaking awesome. It was an amazing series. I loved every moment of it. But, you know, when I see the Harley Quinn, <laughs> she's just this lunatic, psychotic, psychopath, loud, quirky character, right? I mean, she's nuts, right? In the, in the actual animated show. And then you've got Margot Robbie, all right? The new one, the new character. And now Margot Robbie, overnight, she took this character to another level. She made her from this lunatic, psychopath, crazy character to this ooga mooga licious bombshell. Let's get real now, right? Can't she become a pin-up character? I think she'll be an amazing pin-up character. And you know, that's my thing. Pin-ups is my thing. So I really thought that Margot just took her to another level for me. She just put her on the map for me because the Harley Quinn was never in my top 10 of my favorite characters. I mean, I like her. I'm a huge fan of the Harley Quinn, but I was never that crazy about it. Even, even in the animated show, my main characters, my favorites were Batman and the Joker. The two elements there that made the show, you know, um, you know that great animated series. And I, I mean, she was just a sidekick, right? <laughs> she was just a, uh, she was just fun, all right? But this one, I just hope, I just hope the movie is gonna be as epic as the trailers are. I hope it is. I mean, I don't know when you guys are watching this video, what time in the near future? Now, this present time is 20th of uh, July. It's not out yet, so um, I hope it's as good as the trailers. And yeah, I can't wait for that coming. Right now, guys. Um, also, simplicity of art. Now, this, this this character right now I'm drawing. Everything's done. In a very simple format. The style, I kept it simple. It's more, I'm going for more for a traditional type, you know, old school, classical, cartoony look. You know, everything's flat and everything. Uh, I didn't want to go for the fancy stuff. Um, but um, you know what? I actually really appreciate this style, you know? I mean, I'm, if you gave me a graphic novel right now of cartoon characters, I don't know, whatever the story's about, and it was drawn up, the whole book was drawn up in this style you know nice flat not too much effort you know on the rendering i would i would really read that book i would enjoy every moment of that book and it came to me you know i was thinking about it because you know, you know how you know how my artwork is like i like to put a lot of effort each time i create a piece of artwork i like to go a little bit further and really put a lot of effort on the rendering and make it as fancy as possible this time i kept it simple well the main reason was because i'm only using a texture pencil right but I kept it as simple as possible, but it did come to me, you know, it, it hit my brain there thinking, you know what, simple is also cool, you know, it's really fun, it's it's nice, and if you can really capture the, the whole uh, storytelling pose, it's really cool. Now this one's not really a storytelling pose, she's actually posing for the camera, she's posing for the audience, it's something that I always avoid doing because I find it so boring, but um, still, keeping it simple is really, really cool. Uh, yeah, right guys my next video is gonna be a Q&A video. All right, it's gonna be a question and answers Q&A video next week So make sure you bombard the comment section wreck it up with questions You know how it goes the question that's the most frequently asked or the ones with the most likes or thumbs ups is the most Popular question basically will be the questions. I'll be answering unless I've already answered it now Let's check out the final image check it out. I went for this like old-school DC cover art sort of thing. <laughs> I hope I did it justice. I hope my buddy likes it. I hope you guys like it. Anyways, guys, I'm Paris Christou from ToonboxStudio.com. You know how it goes. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Yeah, do all that stuff. And I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye for now.